everyone welcome back to my channel today I am going to one of the facilities where I provide um, foot care I have about 10 patients to see uh, today's gonna be a very short smaller day only because um, it is COVID during the time of COVID so um, the people that I'm gonna see at this facility uh, really need the service they're considered essential, so either they're diabetic, they're prone to ingrown toenails, they've got um, really bad corns that are painful and prevents them from walking. So um, this facility that I'm going to, I will be dealing with those types of patients at this at this time. Um, so yeah, I just am starting off my day. I'm just on my way now. I'm going to stop um, to get myself a tea and something to drink so that I can at least have that by the time I get there and before I start so I thought it would be great to show you guys what a day is like for me uh, sort of doing all of this especially during this time um, of COVID so if you've already had a chance to check out my other video on what I pack in my nursing foot care kit and my nursing bag. Those are some of the things that I've brought along with me today to be able to um, service the patients I'm gonna see. Venti honey citrus mint tea. Of course, Venti honey citrus mint tea. Yes, and can I also get a bacon and gouda breakfast sandwich? Of course, and a bacon and gouda breakfast sandwich. And we got these snacks for later as well, like a chocolate chocolate tea. Nope, that's all. No problem, let's get a few 10 foot tea. We'll see you at the window. Great, thank you. Okay guys, so I'm just pulling over just to get something for breakfast before heading to um, the facility. Um, that way at least I have something to eat for later. Um, so I'm really hoping that today is gonna be um, really organized because like I said, I'm having to go room to room. It's something I don't normally do. Uh, I bought this cart recently, so I had to sort of wait until it came in. It's, it's, it's in. So um, we'll see how today works out. I probably won't be able to film uh, doing care today just because um, the residents, I'll be going into their room. So if they were coming down to the space, then it would be a little bit different, but I'll try to get as much footage as I possibly can of what uh, my day sort of looks like so that you guys could sort of see what it's, it's like being a foot care nurse. Great, thank you so much. Have a great day. You too. Okay guys, so I'm here now. I'm just gonna put on my head covering. <laughs> this is what I usually do when I I'm getting ready to go in just so that I'm already prepared and I have to walk in with um, a mask already on. All right, so let's get inside. <laughs> Very small room, patient chair, where I do foot care here. <clears throat> One of my other carts that I carry with me when I come to facilities, a bigger cart that holds a lot more supplies. Um, I like to bring products, so I'll bring just some products here. It's pretty empty right now. <clears throat> towel warmer, just a towel warmer here. And then this is just a table where I'll do charting. So my cart, I already have it set up. 
um, with all of the things that I'll be using for today at the top and then all my um, isolation gowns. Not that, um, I'm just using the isolation gowns just for the dust uh, because it's COVID um, and now they want that I'm wearing full PPE, which I've, I always do. So um, when I'm providing foot care. So that's just here on the second shelf. And then the third, I've got uh, my dirty um, container sharps and also disinfectant wipes to just disinfect um, like the foot rest in between patients and stuff. So that's my foot rest as well. Okay, and then I'm gonna be carrying my chair. So I'm just gonna get myself ready now. Um, right now I just have on a regular mask to come into the building and I'll be switching over to my N95. I'll keep this headrest or wrap on for the day um, because I didn't bring any other ones. I realized that once I got here that I only have the one and I didn't bring um, the disposable ones I have. So I'll just have to keep this on my head and um, I'll be changing um, my gowns that I, that I have. But right now I'm gonna get myself organized um, and onto my cart that I that I showed you and just get up to the rooms and, and start seeing people. I've got my assignment of who I'm gonna be seeing. So like I told you, there's only 10 people and I'm hoping that today's gonna go pretty quick. Okay, I'll talk. Okay, so I'm just, just going up to one of the units. where I first stopped to get my PPE um, in these little baskets here so gloves gowns I only need the gown so I'm just gonna take it um, for my cart the yellow ones I left back in the office there so I'm just gonna make room for it and put it here okay so I just put the first set of uh, isolation gown to go into the residence room um, so I'm gonna go in and then I'll show you guys what I do once I come out. Okay, so once I'm finished with the patient, I usually come um, out of the suite and I try to do this um, sooner than later and just start to, ch to chart and uh, electronically do things, um, opposed to waiting at the end and uh, doing all of this then. It's just so much easier to have this information now than to wait until later. I thought I'd quickly show you a patient suite for you for those that have never seen a patient suite before. Bedroom and bathroom and bathroom. All right. Hi guys, so I just stopped to have a bit of lunch and to talk to you. Uh, so my day is going okay. Uh, I've been able to see about six patients so far, but it's taking me just a little longer than normal, only because uh, I'm seeing a couple of patients that are on the list that are they are essential, but they're they're new. And in a retirement home, uh, there, a couple things happen here in a retirement home. You don't normally see all the patients in a retirement home, just because some patients can do their own foot care. Some patients might opt to have their family come in and do their care for them. They may use a facility foot care nurse such as myself, or they may bring in a foot care nurse from the outside to provide care for them, or they'll bring a chiropodist or a podiatrist in. Now here in Canada, we use chiropodists, so they may opt to having their own chiropodist come in and provide uh, them with service. So uh, some of the patients that I'm seeing, as I said, they've, uh, sort of opted to provide care for themselves so their nails aren't in the best of shape so it's taking me a little longer than normal to sort of get through it and I've put some pictures um, in for you guys just so you can have an idea of sort of what I deal with what type of um, foot conditions I see they're just some so I'm just gonna continue on with my lunch and I'll talk to you guys in a bit 
Here is a patient with very thick toenails. She was put on the essential foot care list because she stated her toenail got stuck in the carpet when she was walking and it actually made her fall. This is the after picture of the same patient with the thick toenails. Here I reduced the thickness as much as I possibly could. This is just another picture of the same lady um, and the nails being reduced. This is the left leg of that same patient. When I pulled her pant leg up, she presented with huge undiagnosed lesions on her legs. Here is a picture of a patient's nail separated from the nail bed and a lot of debris under the nail plate. This is the same patient with a separated toenail. Looks like he may have initially injured the toe because of the black spot. Uh, this is the same patient. I've just cut the toenail down to where it was attached. Once I removed all that debris, he presented with a ulcer under the nail, under the nail bed. This is an ulcer just at the plantar aspect of his foot. And he also presented with another ulcer just between the toes. And here I provided a bit of wound care to those areas. quickly go downstairs just to catch that man playing his synthesizer because uh, I thought it was just so neat to kind of see that he you know they have stuff going on for them even though they're sort of locked um, down okay back to work all right guys so my day is over I am ready to drive home that is my day in a nutshell as a foot care nurse, the things I have to sort of go through and deal with. Um, it's not always pretty because we're dealing with feet, but that's okay. I like this area of nursing. It's very interesting. I hope that you found this video very interesting. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the bell button so you know when I upload the next video. And I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye. Cooking soda, baby.